You finish a set of squats, and the first thing you feel isn't a quad pump. It's that dull, grinding ache behind your kneecap. You've tried everything, perfecting your stance, keeping your chest up, but that pain just won't quit. What if the mistake isn't your form, but a collapse happening so fast you barely even notice it? This single mistake, called valgus collapse, is the number one reason squats are destroying your knees. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it is, the scientific reason it's happening, and a simple drill you can do before your next set to start fixing it for good. The mistake is this. As you start to push up from the bottom of your squat, your knees buckle or dive inward toward each other for just a split second before you stand up. It might feel like a little wobble, but it's a massive structural failure, and it's not just bad form. It's actively creating a shearing force that your knee joint was never designed to handle. Here's the deep science of what's happening. Your knee is a simple hinge joint. It's designed to bend backward and forward like a door hinge. It is not designed to bend sideways. When your knees collapse inward, your thigh bone, the femur, is aggressively rotating inward while your foot is planted flat on the floor. This creates a dangerous twisting and shearing force, primarily on the inside of your knee. This force stretches your MCL, or medial collateral ligament, and grinds your kneecap, the patella, sideways against its natural groove. That grinding, or crunchy feeling you have, that's literally what's happening. It's called patellofemoral pain syndrome, and it's your body's alarm bell. Now, here is the part that will finally answer your questions. This is almost never a knee problem. The knees are just the victims. The problem starts one joint above, at your hips, specifically your gluteus medius and minimus, the muscles on the side of your hips, are weak or asleep. Their main job is hip abduction, which means pulling your knees outward and keeping them stable. When you're at the bottom of a squat, these muscles are supposed to be firing like crazy to keep your knees aligned with your toes, but if they're weak, your powerful adductors, your inner thigh muscles, and your quads take over, and they pull your knees inward. There's a second culprit too, your ankles. If you have poor ankle mobility, specifically an inability to flex your ankle and push your knee forward, called dorsiflexion, your body will cheat to find that range of motion. The most common cheat is for your foot arch to collapse inward, and when your arch collapses, your shin bone rotates inward and your knee is dragged right along with it. It's a chain reaction of collapse, starting all the way down at your foot. So, how do we fix it? You don't just try harder to keep your knees out. You have to wake up the right muscles. Before your next squat session, you must activate those sleeping glutes. Grab a mini band and put it just above your knees. First, do 20 side-to-side -side monster walks, staying low and focusing on pushing the band apart. Then, lie on your side and do 15 clamshells on each leg. You should feel a deep, specific burn on the side of your glutes. That's your glute medius finally waking waking up and reporting for duty. Now, take that feeling to the squat rack. As you set up, I want you to think about screwing your feet into the floor, your left foot rotating counterclockwise, your right foot clockwise, without them actually moving. This will create external rotation at the hip and pre-activates those glute muscles. Your new cue isn't just knees out. Your new cue is push the floor apart on the way up. This forces those newly activated muscles to fire, creating a stable tripod and locking your knee into a safe, strong path, perfectly tracking over your second and third toe. Stop blaming your knees. They are just caught in a toxic relationship between weak hips and tight ankles. Activate your glutes before every session. Work on your ankle mobility and screw your feet into the ground. You won't just stop the pain. You'll finally build the strong, stable, and pain-free squat you've always wanted.